Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 8 of Improve with Apollo. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed the series so far from 1 to 8. Uh, or I guess you can't really enjoy 1 to 8, more like enjoyed 1 to 7 and here we are at 8. Today we have a Terran versus Terran in gold platinum kind of level right now. Uh, and our participant for today is Kia. Uh, aka K Dude in game. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his email. His email is going to tell us a lot on what he's struggling with. And here we are, Kia, 18 years old from the United Kingdom. Boya! Um, rank 1 Gold Lead EU and Terran. So, hey Apollo, uh, you're one cool person. Thank you. I've been playing StarCraft on and off for a few months now, and I've managed to go from low silver to effectively a platinum leaguer. Although, at the time of writing, I'm still a few games away from my promotion. So you are in Gold League at the moment. Um, I really struggle in knowing the correct build order and philosophy for TVT. Whereas in Terran vs Protoss and Terran vs Zerg, my win rate is quite high and I know timings where I want to be tech-wise and how best to defeat the opposite race. I find TVT really difficult. Up until I was getting placed versus Plat Leaguers, I'd just been 1v1 or 1-1-1 one, one, one rushing, but that really isn't viable anymore. I don't really have a build order, and I think it shows. For example, in this game, I actually forget my upgrades, never took my fourth, or never take my fourth, and forget extra starports. I'd love for you to review my gameplay and offer assistance on how and when to drop, a good build order, and how I should approach the Terran vs. Terran matchup. Thanks a lot. Alright, well, thank you, Kia, for sending in your replay, and also the email, and thanks for sharing. And let's go ahead and... First of all, I've already noticed something, so we can go ahead and jump straight into your game. I'm going to set it to your vision, and I'm going to walk through your replay that you've sent in. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to uh, address is in Terran versus Terran, I really like it, especially on four-player maps, when you scout after Supply Depot. I think in Terran versus Terran, I mean, in any against Terran matchups recently, apart from, okay, so just Terran versus Terran, Terran versus Protoss, because Zerg has overlords. But in these matchups, Terran players are really being sneaky. They like to wall in, they like to hide what they're doing, and it's kind of difficult for you to get information. So at this stage of the game, I like it to get, a, to get an SCV off, because if you're not going to scout early, then don't scout at all, because you're, the likelihood and the probability of you getting your SCV in if you scout later on like this is now the, the percentage is shot down because this Marine's going to come out and especially on a four play map you'll be able to scout one location down here before a Marine comes out and then this one no this one no so I like to go ahead and just higher the odds of you getting information so if you go ahead and scout after the supply depot you can go here yes you can go here in the bottom left as well and maybe you won't go here but that's a little bit unlucky that you didn't get to the to, to the position in time so that's one thing I'd like to change up already because it's very important to know whether you're opponent's taking gas or not because in Terran versus Terran there are a lot of aggressive builds there are a lot of variety openings you can choose from pretty much anything if you're in England and you are English here Kia if you've ever been to the supermarket and you've seen that cereal the variety pack of eight different baby cereals that's like Terran versus Terran because there are a lot of different openings that they can pick and choose from you're gonna go one barracks command center though which is a good solid build um, behind this you obviously go orbital um, okay, good. So orbital down. Um, uh, with the your 17 supply, always get a supply depot next, and then marine, and then SCV. Um, just kind of streamlines your build a little bit more. And we'll come back to have a look at that scout in a minute. So, okay, you're good. You do get no, you do do not get scouting information here, um, which is as we talked about. People do like to wall in. So you're in the dark. You don't know what he's doing at all. It could be double gases, could be one gas, uh, could be no gases and five barracks the extreme, could be triple command center, you have no idea, so the options are open. Uh, you on the other hand, uh, let's have a look, supply depot needs to come down first, you got 150 minerals, so now you can build a marine because you are a little bit late, so you kind of messed up your build a little bit here because you probably were focused on scouting and there the supply depot does come down, could get a marine, and of course you want to be building that SCV, so just a little bit of hiccup with the initial build, but so far it's okay, uh, you have two options now, you either throw down double gas immediately. Uh, yeah, so you either throw down double gas or double barracks shortly. So double gas, of course, 150 minerals. One barracks, 150. Weight, 150. And you can play like that. Um, two options for you to choose from at the moment, really. Two solid options. All right, so you're going to get his SCV. So if we queue up two more guys, you can queue up a Marine, queue up an SCV. Um, 
missing an SCV here. So already in this game, you've made a couple of mistakes. Your supply depot is late. You're not building SCVs. Your barracks will come down at once. You've got 150 minerals in the bank. So these small things, even though they may not even... When you probably watch this replay, if you did watch this replay, you probably skip right past this. But these are details that are big enough for me to bring up. That I think that you know these need changing at this stage and this level of your play. If you want to improve, these little mistakes should not ever happen. You should never be you no know, not building SCVs at four minutes in the game. But you've chosen to go refinery and double barracks at the same time. Um, refinery before the barracks, so you'll probably just stay on one refinery. And all you need to do is, as soon as you can, get a tech lab and get combat shields. Combat shields, is, so there's two options for you to go down when you get the tech lab down initially. You either go stim or combat shields. Combat shields probably is the better upgrade. It's cheaper, it's faster, and it's basically better all around because it's a better defensive upgrade. Stim is a more refined upgrade to get, so when you know what you're playing against. For example, if you're playing against yourself right now, if you scouted and saw this mirrored build, then you can get stim, because stim is better than combat shield in a, in a specific way, but when you are, do not know when you do not know what's coming up, you you have to get combat shields. For example, if an SCV rush to us come with marines, combat shield helps out more. Combat shield helps out more against banshees because it's researched faster. Um, but if he was to go three command centers, why do you need to research combat shield to be defensive if he's not doing anything? Therefore, you can go stim. Uh, and of course, then you weigh in the factor of it being combat shields being faster and cheaper. Uh, puts it in its favor, but right now we're very much so in the dark. This move here is very, 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 very bad. Basically, here is because you're taking a third command center with zero information in the game. You have no idea what's going on whatsoever. So if you scan and you see, oh, oh, okay, so he did go one barracks command center. Okay. He has now got pretty much the same setup as me. Then taking a third command center is still risky, but viable. Now it's just plain out risky. If he does any one base attack and he does it well, you're dead. Because that 400 minerals that you're throwing away now is units you're not building. For example, you're not queuing up anything right now. You could be throwing down more SCVs, supply depots, and just increasing your overall production. A second refinery, uh, leaning up towards a factory, and so on and so on and so on. So that seems to be a little bit of a mistake. One thing I did notice too, actually, just looking at your setup, is that even at 4 minutes 30 here, is you never really built a, uh, or 4 minutes 35 minutes, you never built a bunker. So if he was to do any kind of all-in off one base, Marine SCV, which is possible with the setup he's got, it's, uh, you're, you're dead too, so you really need a bunker. Um, Alright, so we're back to where we were, you're taking a third base. Okay, so you've got an SCV on his third base to scout out. You have no idea what's going on. We, you haven't researched anything from the uh, tech lab yet. And all right, so you've almost got gas available, but you see him coming. All right, so you see him coming now with a handful of Marines, tank, SCV, and he's like looking at a 111 or something along those lines. But you do have a bunker. Good job, mud. But good job, buddy. Uh, do not have combat shields though. Definitely want combat shields, and you're already pulling SCVs. Okay. Um, all right, so you're gonna go and try and get there before you get set up. One tank, if he has siege modes, and a couple of marines, I think you're dead. Um, but we'll see. So you're seeing one SCV down. Can't believe you got three command, uh, third command center. Medivac as well. Oh, this is looking ugly. Uh, you're going to lose a lot of SCVs, that for sure. Alright, so let's have a look. So you come in with seven SCVs, eight SCVs at the time, and a handful of marines. And you probably will be able to push this back, but you're going to lose probably every single SCV. Um, and if he's expanding behind this, that does help him out a lot. But you do have three command centers, and you will push this back. Alright, so luckily enough for you, this wasn't a really strong attack. Because at that time, I've played against players at my level that come with like three tanks and... You know, a lot more Marines than that in SCV. So, you got off light there, um, but you're able to get back into into the game a little bit. And you're going to take the Zarnaga Tower. I don't know if he's going to continue with it again. No, so, okay. He's probably just expanded behind it. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, so, the SCV count now, 24 to 26, but you do have three orbitals. So, you're going to be a lot, you're going to be really good. So, you probably got a nice advantage in this game already. Um... No combat shields, no stim, no nothing. Factory down, only one gas at the moment. So you've kind of lost a lot of your infrastructure. I mean, so let me just rewind it a little bit. So I want to kind of smooth out your build. Um, going one refinery first is okay. 
and then into the build, then into the barracks is good. So one refinery, I don't mind it. It's just, it's not how I would have done it myself. I would have gone double barracks first, and I would have been a lot stricter on my opening, and then I would have taken double gases. The reason why I take double gases is I will get tech lab, reactor, reactor. Um, tech lab, then combat shield, then reactor, reactor, and then I'll just be able to pump, 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 pump away. Uh, and then take a factory engineering bay at once and so on and so on. So very similar. I think a lot of the, the Terran versus Terran matchup, if you want to use a standard opening build, copy the build you use against Protoss here. Uh, the build you use against Protoss, if you play straight up, is going to be one barracks command center, three barracks, double gas, um, tech lab stim, marines, marines, maybe a marauder. Um, with the double ref double refinery, you're going to be able to go factory, engineering bay, you get medivacs, you get plus one. You know, you know, basically that build, you can use here. But the difference between Protoss and Terran is that Terran versus Terran, you are able to go ahead and go double reactor. Because in against Protoss, there are gateway early builds where you play two too greedy by going double reactor because you get hit by a gateway four or five gateway attack and you can die right but in Terran versus Terran there are fewer builds that you need to worry about like that and you can get away with reactor reactor if you know you're playing against what you're doing as well virus scan for example um, for example you could go ahead and get combat shields here and then scan I mean instead of that mule there if you scan right now at six minutes six minutes is like the ultimate scanning time in this matchup you scan and you go oh Oh, Paul told me to scan at six minutes. Oh, look what I've seen. And now you'd be like, all right, well, that was a bad idea. Why haven't I got combat shields? Or should I get combat shields immediately? And so on. And then you can start to prepare. If you'd seen a starport switched around with a factory here, and that you were seeing banshees coming out, then you could react. You could get an engineering bay down right now, get turrets up. But the thing is, you got lucky a lot because, first of all, his attack was not strong. Second of all, it was a tank that you could deal with. If he comes in with cloak banshees here, Kier, instead of tanks, you have nothing. You have no scans, you have no turrets, you have marines with no upgrades, you have a command center that's useless, and you basically just die straight out. So your build is really, really bad, what you're using at this current point. And like I said, just go back to use your Protoss build, uh, against Protoss build, and you get a lot more success. Um, all right, so... Let's go ahead and just resume with your play. We'll go back to your vision. And we'll bring this down. So where were we? We just pushed away this tank attack. And there it goes. Come and you're going to push this back. All right, cool. So with this back now, like I said, you take the the, the Zonog tower. I would have already sent this SCV out as his attack came. Because I would have liked to see what he had on the natural. Well, has he expanded or not? Saves you a scan. Um, because you should kind of be scanning, I suppose. But at this point in the game, 600 minerals. The reason why you got 600 minerals is because you haven't got gases. It's not so much about this third base. It's because you haven't got gases. For example, if you go ahead and get combat shield now, uh, that's 100 gas gone. You're down at 119. You get two reactors, you're down at 19. And then you got a factory and you're like, I can't afford a stop or I can't afford medivacs. So at this point right now with 600 minerals, I take one, two, and not three. So two gases right now because you don't quite have enough SCVs to take all four. So take take the gases because if you build one in the main, you can take three away from your SCVs here. One, two, three. And you're still okay in SCVs. You can pretty much put one in here too. And one, two, three, and have three and it mules, but you have a third command center, so you can always build off this as well. And then you should start getting your infrastructure down. So reactor, reactor, uh, starport needs to come down if you're going for the factory. Otherwise, why are you going for the factory? But you won't have enough gas to do everything right now. Uh, engineering bay needs to come down soon too. Supply depots need to come down as well. You're at 51 out of 57. And you're going to get supply box soon. So all these things you need to think about yourself and be like, all right, well, why did I build the factory? You know, did I build it to build a starport for tanks? If I want a starport immediately in a reactor, that's 150 gas. Okay, so reactor and starport going to come. And now, you you know, you don't have enough to get the reactors down. Get stim, get combat shield. You're floating enough gas to do so. So these little amateur mistakes here are what's keeping you in gold league and not going up to platinum for sure. Good supply depot war off. I like that. Round two coming in. Combat shields probably would be done by now and stim soon to be. Um, gas is still one gas. Still really, really bad. You need to get off this one gas because you can't afford what you want to do. You, you know, it's you can definitely you work on two gas here, three gas if you want engineering base to come down. And with an early third command center, you want to be going double engineering base. So you definitely want three gases. And as you try to build medivacs now, you've got nothing else after that. 
Um, we'll see though. So these are the, these are all these things that are, that are hurting you a lot here. But overall, you know, three command centers down, good. You've got a good amount of units out. It could be better. You're up to a thousand minerals right now, and like I said, the reason for that is because of your gas. You're trying to spend it. You can only build one medivac at the moment. But you got 800 minerals. It's not that your macro in terms of production sucking, even though you should be adding on a bunch of barracks by now. It's your gas timings. You just need to look at what you can be spending on. That's the way to work out your gas is just say, all right, well, this is what I want to spend in gas. Do I have enough income to support it? Because right now your gas income is only 100 per minute, basically. You can, you can basically round up or round down, should I say, refineries to be 100 gas per minute. You, do you Are you going to spend 100 gas per minute? Yes. Are you going to spend 300 gas per minute? Yes. So that's how you really want to work it out. Okay, so we got these uh, medivacs on the way. You got a lot of stuff down. So here comes your extra barracks production. Cool. That's good. You you understand that you do need extra barracks. Um, Could have come down a little bit earlier though. I mean, we did have float a lot of money for a long time. We still are floating a lot of money. And you're going to have to pull SCVs to get into this because you do not have combat shields. Do not have stim. Um, and you don't lose that many SCVs, to be honest. 12th so far in the game. 39 and 33. You are still ahead because of three orbitals. And we do see that he hasn't got a third base. So things are really, really good for you despite losing SCVs, not mining, and so on. You just need to get your infrastructure down. So combat shields is on the way. Um, good. Goody, goody gumdrops. Um, the refinery is still missing. It's 11 minutes. No, only just now you're taking a refinery. So this is really, really bad. And like you, you, you kind of realize it now. Like, hold on a minute. I need gas. Um, just think about like, again your Protoss against Protoss build, and when you take gases there, it's going to be roughly the same against Terran too. Um, you've lost a lot of SCVs in the main. Kind of not mining at all in the main, and especially if you go into gas. So a little bit careful on SCV uh, saturation, SCV production too. I see all these orbitals not building SEVs at the moment, and you're not supply blocked. So just some fundamental mistakes here. Uh, to be honest, uh, the things you mentioned, we're, I mean, we're looking a lot on your build and your mistakes. Um, we're not really looking too much at your fundamentals here, but it's 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 something that you can personally work on. Just you know, building SEVs, getting your gas timings down a little bit stronger, taking all six gases now, which is okay. Um, double engineering bay, which you said in an email you forgot, which is fine. Uh, focusing on drops and stuff, you, it's not something you actually need to focus on at all. Because I think that you have a lot more to work on that drops will just complicate things. Once you do everything I've mentioned already, the gas timings, the barracks add-ons, the reactors, the lining up, your production, getting your money low, then come back and ask me how you want to drop. Because drops will only slow you down in doing these things that you need you need to sort out. Uh, Alright, so you have a scan in the main base here. And we see uh, no third command center. So you should be feeling pretty good with yourself. Uh, I'm just going to have a look around. Yep, yeah, no third command center. You're actually uh, way ahead of the curve here. Your income is you know a lot better than his. Well, it will be soon. Once meals die down, I suppose, for him. Um, but going over to, to the what you've just scouted. So you've scouted barracks, 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 one factory, you realize you're playing against bio uh, and tanks, so marine tank basically, a couple of marauders though, so double tech lab. Uh, marauders are not going to be good in this scenario, so you do have a better setup and you are getting all reactors. One more tech lab, don't really need a tech lab there, just reactor, reactor, don't need marauders in this matchup. Just marines are good enough, especially if you're upgrading like you're trying to do now. Double engineering bay down. Um, all right, so your economy is set up really good, and you are, as you can see, in the supply in the lead. You are winning this game at the moment. One thing that you I like a lot is the factories, the supply depots. I like this a lot. But what you're scouting is, is more so bases here. What I'd like to see is maybe a marine here. Maybe a marine up here. Because with marines splattered across the map, you get to know his army movement. And army movement is going to be very key in uh, understanding what he's doing. Alright, so you've got three Marauders coming down. You don't need Marauders at all. Against tanks, just get tanks of your own. Um, Marauder, uh, oh, Marauders are bad because they don't offer the DPS that Marines do. Right? They, they're, they're really, really bad. Marauders get absolutely destroyed against Marines. Um, so even if he has Marauders of his own, just forget about that. That's his weakness. Um, and you should be heavy, heavy Marine. But at this stage of the game, you, your factory shouldn't be in the air, even though I said I liked that it was there. I now take that statement back. Just build a supply depot and bring the factory back and go one, two, three factories and get tank Marine up. You can't play bio alone in TVT. 
Bio alone loses to tanks. Just they do too much damage. Just two to three, four tanks behind his army, your army is dead no matter what. Uh, unless you have 20 times the army's value, you come in with the flanks, and that's not how you want to be looking to play. Just make sure to get your factories down. Your factories are always going to come down. Let me show you. So as you are now, your build's a little bit weird though, so I'm kind of, I would show you the normal time for the factory to come down, but because of your build it is a little bit adjusted because of the fast third, but basically you take all these gases and you can pretty much start to build tanks now, it's like two factories now, barracks now, all at the same time because you've got such a fast third, so... The, the, I guess the standard point of it is if you were to put your mind right now in Terran versus Protoss, your build. So close your eyes and be like one barracks command center, double barracks, double refinery. Um, I get stim. Uh, my eyes are closed, by the way. I don't know if yours are too. So you get stim. Uh, after stim, you're starting to build this force up. It's around 10 minutes in the game. Your stim finishes. You get medivacs out. You're currently sitting on three barracks, starport, reactor, and you're pumping out uh, medivacs. You then build a third command center. That's your, your move onwards in that matchup, isn't it? So, um, And as you said, you are doing good against Terran vs. Protoss. So right now, my eyes are still closed. That's why the mouse is not moving. So you've just thrown down that third command center. You pick it up. You put it on the third base. You take the gases. Now, if you were playing against Terran... This build, now you add those factories. So that factory that is in the air, or I guess it wouldn't be in the air against Terran, it would be in your base just sitting there. Now, Tech Lab, build two more factories next to it as you take that third base. And as you get the gases on the third base is when you want to be adding on those factories to start producing tanks. Which is now, or as I, not really now, but here now, as in 14 minutes. As you've got all six gases, you can afford to do that. So at this point in the game, now would be the perfect time. I can say, all right, great, you opened up very bio-heavy. you got a great map presence. Uh, in terms of you should be controlling the map with a good amount of units out like this. You have double upgrades on the, wa on the way. You want to get vehicle weapons down. And look right now, you have 300 gas in the bank. I would, If you were sitting next to me, I'd slap your wrist here and say, all right, get your factories down now. You're a little bit late with them, but get them down now. And this would be the perfect time. Alright, so let's go ahead and just look. You've seen his third base. You should be very happy that you're miles ahead in terms of economy, production, and so on. And we do move out. Good. We move out. We use our army size. We use our army value, which is really, really big. Um, this is very, very risky what you're doing. Unless you know this. Okay, good. So now, as you see moving out, this is a really, really good time to sim in and kill its third command center and get out. So, what my goal is, yeah, good, stim, go in, pick the command center out, and run back. Because he immediately will come back to you, right? Naturally. So, you want to just get out. So, pick this off, destroy this. But all you need to do is destroy it and get out. Because once you destroy it, you are now three base versus two again. Um, and I really do suggest strongly focusing on it. Okay, good. Uh, if you're going to get cornered like this, you're going to have to turn around and fight. Okay, good. So, uh oh, you don't destroy it. You don't destroy it. Okay, you turn around and fight. Alright, so this is why tanks are good, because they do this. They just do so much. You try to bring them down, they just absolutely annihilated everything there. And you didn't destroy the command center. At least get the command center. Um, so you you kind of didn't do anything there. You just lowered the health of a command center. You didn't kill any SCVs. You killed three throughout this game. And you hardly touched his army. So look at the resources lost tab now. It's 1,700 difference in favor for him because of this. You didn't destroy what you went in to do, and you didn't kill his army either. So you basically went in there and lost your army for nothing. So that hurts a lot for you. Um, definitely focus on picking that off, and then turn around to fight. And you had to fight, and then you're ready with a new army to go again. You have 1-1 one, one now. You want to be getting 2-2 two, two immediately as soon as 1-1 one, one finishes. So right now, as you see, you have a lot of gas. Uh, you have a lot of gas because you don't have that many SCVs. 58 SCVs. At this stage of the game, you should be 75 SCVs. So that's all three bases fully saturated. You are down three to five SCVs in the main base. You are down four to six SCVs on the natural. And you are down a lot of SCVs on your third. Basically, you remember if your saturation, your saturation should always look like this. That's your saturation for one base. Basically, what's that? 18 probes. 18 probes always on every single base, and that is healthy, and that's why you have a lot of gas. Uh, you have fourth command center up, which is cool. More barracks coming down, cool. Uh, let's get into your vision. This is going to be a very difficult fight to take because he's going to have position on you, but that's because you just lost a chunk of your army, didn't you? So uh, it looks like you can go in, though. You do pick off everything, and now you can annihilate his army. At this time, you've now killed his army. 
perfect time to pick up your command center and put it down. Uh, you got a ghost academy down. I don't know why. 2-2 uh, should be down. It's it's really late to go 2-2. Two, two. And this is the time where you take your fourth command center and you... Ooh, you got a lot of marauders there. It, like I said, I don't like marauders. And this is the time where you should be you know, spreading out marines. Like marine over here, marine over here. Um, sensor tower maybe on the right-hand side. Sensor tower on the left-hand side. Just get more vision. Adding on more tech labs is really bad. But I think you're just kind of compensating for the lack of... Fa uh, uh, lack of tanks you have, which I'll you know for this for this game I'll I'll wave past and say all right you can build some marauders if you're going to play pure bio. Um, all right, so uh, we scan two scans see his army, see his third base. Can't really attack in there because he's got tanks on the high ground. Yeah, that's one one upgrades. You should be taking your fourth command center as mentioned and furthering your upgrades. Uh, if you attack in here, you're going to lose absolutely everything. All right, good. What are you doing? All right, he comes to you. And his tanks are going to win in the fight every single time. These three tanks, watch, they'll have like 10 kills each. Or maybe like 6 kills each or something by the end of this fight. So as this fight commences now, here, you're going to lose a lot, no doubt. I didn't check the kills. 4-2. Alright, but they've dealt a lot of damage as well. 5-2. Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. So 7 kills and you just can't fight against Vikings because you're losing medivacs. Your army composition is so weak to his. You're basically giving yourself a massive disadvantage in this game. Um, just because you, you don't have the right setup of army composition. You don't have tanks. You don't have a lot of marines. You, you've got flanked here. Alright, let's have a look how you got flanked. And all these mistakes just boil down to one thing. And that's just your army composition. Uh, and then you just you, you lay out. So you lose map control now. And you scan and see him. You see him moving up left. Okay, no you don't. Wait a minute. Okay, so you kind of see him moving left. You should predict that his movement is going to be around this side. Looking for your fourth command center, which should be down. So you should never really get blindsided here. There. So bam, he comes in. And you are blindsided again. And you're going to lose a lot. Alright, so he breaks your third. You may have enough soon to break him. You do have 2-2. Two, two. He has 2-2. Two, two. His tanks, again, going to be doing a lot of damage. Those tanks that had 5 kills, 2 kills, are now escalated to 8 kills, 4 kills. And he's broken your third base. Alright, so you're going to go and get these tanks, get rid of them, and then come into fight. But you now you've lost your third base, and this is basically game over. Even though you've gotten an attack on his third, he can clean that up because of his reinforcements. And now you're, you're way, way, way far behind. So, basically, if I mean, this, this game's as good as over now, unfortunately. You've, I hopefully I've, I've kind of nailed what went wrong in this game and how to improve it. I would love to suggest to look out for the town tutorials, but they're not out yet, but they will be soon. Uh, I definitely uh, just thinking of advice for you right now, Kia. Um, like drops at this stage are you know not going to help you out at all. Advice is just tighten up the small things first. Tighten up the small things, and the bigger things will come. All right. SC quotes at SC two quotes that just come that's that should go there now, um, because the small things will make the biggest difference for you. Adjusting your army composition, furthering your upgrades, uh, you know, scanning at six minutes to see what you're playing against because you will lose to club banshees. And I'm sure you already have um, army composition being better and so on and so on. And then using these wonderful supply depot placements you've got around the map instead of scouting for bases. Have them also scout, and uh, not just bases, but drops as well. I know they do that too, but have have scouting marines to, to get army movement as well. Uh, and that will help you out a lot. So hopefully I've kind of helped you out a lot in this Terran vs. Terran. I definitely recommend watching some Terran pro gamer streams, such as Cass, Tasia, um, some of the top Terrans that I'm thinking of right now. Um, Liquid C. Uh, another great Terran player. If you watch some pro player Terrans, watch how they play Terran vs. Terran. And what I would do is get a notepad out as a Terran player, and this is how I improve too. Get a notepad out here and write down everything they do, everything, the timing and the supply. So for example, go, all right, he goes one barracks command center here. He adds on two barracks, then the gas. Then he goes ahead and takes a factory here. Write the time, write the supply, and then copy it. As long as you understand why he's doing it, it's good to copy it. And you'll get a much better build. And so on and so on. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed this, Kia. And I hope I helped out a bit here uh, with your, your problems. And that you can improve from here on out. 
Uh, thanks for sharing too. So everybody, uh, you know, that's watches this uh, are very grateful for you sharing an email, sharing your replay. And I'm happy, uh, and I hope that you're happy that I covered your game. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for another episode of Improve with Apollo coming soon, as well as me finishing up with Protoss tutorial number four, and hopefully starting the Terran one soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.